Good afternoon. My name is Brandon Rice, and I'm the health coach here at Partner MD, located at the Shore Pump location. And today we're going to go over some exercises that you can do at your office if you just happen to be going back to the office after quarantine. So uh, I think the purpose of these exercises that we want to focus on today, I think number one is going to be soft tissue manipulation or myofascial release and being able to relax those muscles. You've been sitting all day in the office. You want to loosen things up. You want to feel a little bit more refreshed. To begin these exercises, all you really need is a lacrosse ball, right? So this lacrosse ball you can get at Walmart, you can get it pretty much anywhere. Uh, this is very firm. You can also use a racquetball or a tennis ball. Those are going to be a little bit softer, a little bit more forgiving when it comes to as you're rolling back and forth on top of those sore areas. Those racquetballs and um, tennis balls are going to be a little bit more forgiving, but this lacrosse ball is going to be a little bit more firm. It's going to be a little uh, deeper in that. Uh, ability to really get into those trigger points and find the ability to loosen up those muscles and joints and give you, uh, you know, kind of a boost of energy at the end of the day. So using the lacrosse ball, focus on low, slow pressure. Don't try to dr drill into that muscle or, or joint. You want to take your time. You want to focus on the outside areas, of course, around that area that's a little bit tender, but making sure that you're you're taking your time. You're not putting too much pressure on there, but you're, you're really rolling and you're trying to find all of the surrounding areas as you continue to do that. So first thing you want to do with the lacrosse ball or the uh, racquetball or tennis ball is take your shoes off. Take your shoes off and then uh, roll this ball underneath the ball of your foot, the arch of your foot, and then the heel. So nice and controlled, putting your foot down on top of the ball, nice and easy, about 30 seconds on each one of those areas. So 30 seconds under the balls of your foot, the arch of your foot, and then the heel of your foot. Okay. Next thing you want to focus on is your glutes or your hips. The easiest way to do this, and of course you can do it while sitting down, Put that lacrosse ball underneath one of your butt cheeks, sit on top of it, and just roll back and forth. You can even really just kind of sit right on top of it and finding that pressure point. When it comes to myofascial release and being able to find those trigger points, make sure that you can find an area that's really talking to you. And if you do find that area with that dull, um, you know, easy pain when it comes to uh, that release, you want to just be able to sit on it and just make sure you're focusing on breathing as you're doing this. So nice and controlled, nice and slow as you're going back and forth. You can also utilize the racquetball on the wall. So if you're going to use it on the wall, place it up against the wall in front of whatever you're going to be rolling, put some pressure on it, and then just roll everything back and forth. You can do this on your hips. You can do this for shoulder pain. Nice and controlled. Just use that ball, simple circles. Make sure you're breathing as you're going up and down. And usually about 30 seconds on one area you can get between your shoulder blades, you can get between uh, your glutes, your lower back, a little bit of everything. So this lacrosse ball, find those areas that are talking to you, feet, hamstrings, glutes, shoulder blades, shoulders, just really trying to take your time, roll for about 30 seconds on each one of those. So typically starting with myofascial release, nice and controlled, simple, simple pressure. After that, we're going to use one other piece of equipment. This is called a Versa Loop. Now, this Versa Loop is made by Power Systems. Uh, you can get it on their website. Uh, I think they're like three or four dollars a piece. Uh, typically, I, I recommend the lighter the better. Uh, this is a light band. This is the green color on the Power Systems. Uh, the orange is the extra light and i do think that that gives you a little bit larger range of motion so if you're really focusing on flexibility the lighter the band the more efficient that will be if you're focusing more on strength the heavier the band the more efficient that will be um, so the first thing you're going to want to focus on is standing up nice and tall I'll move my camera up focusing on being nice and tall you're going to hold the band in between your thumb and your forefinger from there you're going to make your arms at a 90 degree angle. So my shoulder, elbow, and wrist are at a 90 degree angle. From here, nice and controlled, focus on the posture, palms facing up towards the ceiling, extend out and come back in. Extend out and come back in. So this is gonna be great for the back, your posterior delt. Everything that's been hunched over all day while you're in your office, you wanna be able to strengthen those posture muscles to be able to sit up nice and straight while you're at your desk. This is a fantastic way Simple, you can do it seated or standing, that you can go ahead and try. I recommend anywhere between 15 to 20 reps. Rest for about 30 seconds and then try it again. 
The next thing we're going to focus on is your lats, or everything underneath your armpit. From here, you're going to stand up nice and tall, and you're going to put a little bit of pressure on that band. So from here, you just put a little bit of pressure on that band, keeping those arms nice and straight. From here, go as high as your shoulders will allow, and then come right back down. So always a little bit of pressure on that band, all the way up and back down, all the way up and back down. Once again, you can do that seated anywhere between 10 to 15 reps, rest for a couple of seconds and then try it again. For the lower body, this is a great piece for those with sciatic issues, those with lower back problems, um, people that have just a weak posterior because they've been sitting all day, being able to utilize this is gonna be a great tool to combat that lower back issue. So, first thing you're gonna focus on is putting that Versa loop around your legs above your knees. Okay, so we're not right on top of my knees, but we're slightly above my knees. From here, I like to put my hands underneath my chin. You can put them anywhere, I just don't want them on your hips. Okay, so hands underneath your chin, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. So my shoulders are here, the base of my feet are a little bit wider than my shoulders. From here, one leg at a time, drop your knee in and come back out. Drop your knee in and come back out. As you're doing this, really focus on keeping the sole of your shoe as flat as you can on the floor. So you're really trying to isolate those glutes as you're going back and forth. 10 to 15 on one side, 10 to 15 on the other, and 10 to 15 on both. Rest. Try it again, really starts to work on that posterior. Last thing, more for the cardio aspect. Uh, these were called monster walks. And so what you wanna focus on is one step to the right, and then one step to the left. And I only want you to step the width of your shoe. So you have the sole of your foot, you're only gonna step that far every single time. So starting with your feet a little bit wider and shorter width apart, step to the out, replace your foot. Opposite side, replace your foot. Step out and back out and back. So you're keeping your body nice and low as you go from side to side, and you're just focused on the balance as you move from side to side. Try about 30 seconds and see how those hips feel. Simple exercises you can do at the office, you can do it at your desk, use a lacrosse ball to loosen up those muscles, get ready for the workout for the day, and then use the Versa loop to make sure that you can strengthen those exercises and see where you can go from there.